2023 was a year of many milestones for sexual and reproductive health, rights, and justice. We're breaking down some of these groundbreaking moments from across the globe. This is 2023 Wrapped SRHR Edition. Starting off in January, Kerala, a state in India, made headlines for granting menstrual leave to all female students in state universities. Singapore repealed a colonial era law that criminalized sex between consenting adult males. In February, Slovenia became the first country in Eastern Europe to not only legalize same-sex marriage, but also include adoption rights for LGBTQI people. Australia announced that they were on track to eliminating cervical cancer as early as 2028 through a combination of HPV vaccinations, screening and treatment. In a first for South Korea, a court ruled in favor of same-sex couples receiving the same health insurance benefits as different sex couples. Spain passed a law that expanded transgender rights and abortion access. This law allows trans people to self-determine their gender identity and abortion to be accessible in all state hospitals. In March, a Kenyan court ruled that everyone has a right of association, which resulted in a decade-long legal battle ending in a bittersweet victory for the country's LGBTQI community. Colombia approved the endometriosis law, which defined guidelines for prevention, diagnosis and treatment of this disease that affects 3.5 million women in Colombia alone. In yet another major win for the LGBTQI community, the Cook Islands removed a colonial era law that criminalizes homosexuality. In May, Taiwan became the first Asian country to grant the right of adoption to same-sex couples. Sri Lanka's Supreme Court greenlit a bill seeking to decriminalize homosexuality. This was a historic development in a country with a long-standing stigma towards LGBTQI plus people. The Cyprus parliament passed a bill that not only banned conversion therapy, but criminalized it. A Japanese court ruled it was unconstitutional for the country to not legally recognize same-sex partnerships. Moving into June, Iceland passed a law banning conversion therapy. In a historic milestone, Estonia became the first Central European country to allow same-sex marriage. In the same month, Belgium approved the first version of a labor code for sex workers. This gives them the right to be legally self-employed. In July, we saw a high court in the Caribbean nation of Antigua and Barbuda strike down laws that specifically targeted people from the LGBTQI community. August was marked by a significant win for the trans community when a trans student won a legal case against an Indian university after being denied admission. Sometime in September, Finland updated its 50-year-old legislation on abortion, making it easier and faster to access abortion services. People can now access abortion on request alone during the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. In another victory for the Green Wave movement, Mexico declared the criminalization of abortion as unconstitutional. In October, The Supreme Court of Mauritius took a decisive step towards equal rights by striking out a colonial era law that criminalizes same-sex relations. The French president announced a plan to enshrine abortion rights in the constitution, which would make the right to abortion irreversible from 2024 onwards. Costa Rica passed the Menstruation and Justice Bill, which reduces tax on menstrual hygiene products from 13% to 1%. The United Nations Working Group on Discrimination Against Women and Girls also released a landmark report calling for the full decriminalization of voluntary adult sex work globally. Latvia, which had sworn in its first openly gay president, also voted in favor of same-sex civil unions. Peruvian Congress approved a regulation that prohibits marriage under 18 years of age. Authorities of a district in Nepal registered the union of an LGBTQI plus couple, making it the first same-sex marriage to be registered in the country. And that's a wrap on the highlights for sexual and reproductive health, rights and justice in 2023. While there is much to celebrate, there is also so much more work to be done in realizing these rights around the world. We can continue to make real change if we act together.
Let us know what other milestones we've missed and share this message with your fellow changemakers.